You could be destroying your testosterone with something you're doing every day and not even realizing it. Let's talk about your tea. Tea, because the tea you're sipping might be tanking the tea you're trying to build. And I'm here to help you sip smarter. In fact, there are teas that are shown to increase testosterone, and I'm going to share those with you. Now, there are other teas, though, that have shown to decrease testosterone, and I'm going to let you know what those are as well. But all of that is irrelevant, and I'll share those at the end. But we have to first know the quality of the tea is going to be way more important than all of that. And this is where organic really matters. Now, hear me out. I'm going to share with you some really interesting research here out of the Republic of Ireland. This was in 2016. They're looking at the risk assessment of fluoride intake from tea in the Republic of Ireland and its implications for public water and water fluoridation. Now, of course, we're all aware that there are states now that are reducing fluoridation in the water. It is something to be questioned. I'm not trying to demonize it. I'm just saying that anytime something is not an essential nutrient, we should be mindful of its exposure in our personal bodies and what it's doing. And we may be putting it too much into our bodies. Let me show you the conclusions here. There's a lot to this study, which are worth knowing about. You should all know this. A uh, number of conclusions can be drawn. First, the main finding of the study is that tea is a major source of exposure to fluoride in the general population. Okay, good to know. Second, for both adults and children, the total dietary intake of fluoride from tea can exceed the upper tolerable intake limit at levels known to cause chronic fluoride intoxication. Third, they can provide evidence to suggest that excessive fluoride may be contributing to high prevalences of musculoskeletal disorders, but finally, and I think most importantly, in my opinion, fourth, due to the high prevalence of iodine, calcium, and vitamin D deficiencies, malnutrition, and diabetes, we provide evidence to suggest that the high fluoride intake of the population may also be contributing to other disease states. Let's look at one other piece here just to give us more information from nature.com. Conclusions are that Excessive ingestion of fluorides can provide detrimental, I'm sorry, prove detrimental to human health. I'm sharing this one because it's talking about the concentration of infusible fluoride in tea infusion was significantly associated with the type of product used. And we're talking about organic versus not organic here. The highest fluoride concentration was detected in black teas, followed by green, oolong, herbal, white, and the, flor the soluble fluoride in black tea, white tea, and herbal teas was mostly released within a short brewing time of five minutes. Okay, so now we know that we have to pay attention if we're drinking tea every day, if it's organic or not, because number one, we could be having issues with the fluoride in that. Now, why is fluoride really so important for us to be aware of? And I'm gonna just really quickly do a sidebar here to something very important for you to know, that it displaces iodine. And so why is iodine so important? We wanna make sure that we're not pushing out iodine for not getting enough. This is from Mayo Clinic. And I wanna read this to you. There was um, some economists who have gone back and analyzed the standardized test scores for IQ back to before they iodized salt in the 1920s. And they were showing that the portion of the United States that had the worst iodine def deficiency averaged an IQ in the population had a increase in 10 points when they just iodize the salt, which is such a small amount. So I, I bring this to your attention to say, look, if you're addicted to that tea and that sweet tea and you just have to do it, or you know you're fluoride exposed, just make sure you're putting attention on bringing iodine sources back into your life. That is gonna be so important. You may supplement, but I always recommend fish caught from the sea or seaweed. Just make sure that you're getting a good source of iodine to help balance this out. It could be the difference in your IQ. Now, one other thing here that I want to share is the sweetened tea. I would not be helping you at all or giving you a service if I didn't mention that the sweetened tea may also be causing a destruction to your testosterone. So in this study, they had sugar sweetened beverages intake and the serum testosterone levels in adult males 20 to 39 years old. And if we go to the conclusions here, we'll see that consumption of these is significantly associated with low serum testosterone levels in men 20 to 39 years old. That sugar is taking its toll. So just think about somebody who goes and they get this big old sweet tea, they're hitting themselves with the sugar and the fluoride. And so we have to be able to do things to 
balance that out. And so that could be the thing that's really tripping you up from getting the best testosterone levels. That's why I make these videos to find those things that you're doing every day that are doing that. So let's talk about what specific teas, if they're organic, could actually be helping you with your testosterone. And here's a uh, NIH.gov article that I think is super important for people to know. Uh, green tea contains chemicals which inhibit the enzyme 5-alpha reductase and thereby reduce the conversion of normal testosterone into the more potent DHT. Now, DHT is the one that typically is driving hair loss. But if we go right below this to spearmint tea, this actually decreases free testosterone. So imagine if you're doing a non-organic spearmint tea or some type of a spearmint that you are getting in your life, this is actually decreasing your testosterone when you could be increasing it with the right green tea. And this is the tea that I know everybody's gonna ask me, what do I drink? I'm not sponsored by them at all. I'm just sharing, this is what I have in my office. And every afternoon I have a tea that is made with green tea as its base. And then I add in a bunch of other things to make sure I'm just getting everything I can in my body to keep me healthy. Uh, so that is the contribution I'm giving to you this Saturday to increasing your testosterone. Every Saturday I'm committing to creating a video that is gonna help bring new evidence and new ideas to you to help make sure that when you're trying to keep your testosterone up, you're not tanking it with these little things that you're doing every day and helping bring more to your life that is going to maximize the value and the quality of everything that you're trying to do with maintaining your testosterone levels. Hope this was helpful. Leave a comment and I will bring more videos to you every Saturday.